Serious concerns are rising among some Highland High School varsity basketball players. They are refusing to play in tonight's game against Madison. And we have team coverage with sports director Eric Moon. But first, let's go to Local News 8's Evan Thomason, who happens to be live outside the school in Pocatello, to tell us why tonight's game has been canceled. Evan. Those players are demanding that their head coach, Ty Pearson, either resign or be removed. Just to be clear, there have been no accusations of any crime or ethic violations that have been made. The players simply believe Pearson isn't a good coach. They say he was disorganized in practice and made crucial wrong decisions late in close games. During a meeting with Pearson and athletic director Travis Bell on Monday, the students promised not to return to action until changes have been made. They say they'll return if assistant coaches Jared Godfrey and Chris Ball take over. But Pearson has apparently sent out a text yesterday saying he would coach the team for the rest of the season. Parents also shared their concerns in a board meeting on, on Tuesday night, but our calls for comments have not been answered, unfortunately. Uh, Pocatello Chubbuck School District Superintendent Doug Howe is looking into the situation. In Pocatello, I'm Evan Thomason. All right now, let's take a little more closer look at the story, though, with our own sports director, Eric Moon. See, Eric, what exactly has the response been so far? Well, thanks, Evan. There has been lots of reaction on social media to the players sitting out, and this could have a significant effect on the conference and the future of Highland basketball. For context on the court, the Rams have struggled mightily recently, going 25 and 88 the last four seasons. But record-wise, this season has been an improvement after a four-win campaign last year. The Rams are 7 and 12 and just defeated Rigby last Friday. We spoke to a former Highland coach, Cam Flabel, today, who is now an assistant coach at Hawaii Pacific after being the head coach of last year's JV team and an assistant for the varsity squad. As a coach recently associated with the program, here's Flabel's reaction to the ongoing situation. I know there's frustrations on both sides. I'm glad, like I told one of my players today, I was glad that they voiced their frustrations and kind of made a stand like this. I kind of wish it would have been handled a little smoother by everybody, but I'm glad they're standing up for themselves, you know. But at the same time, I think it kind of stems from the parents. Um, I know there's been countless parents that have gone to the athletic director, gone to Ty, um, you know, say stuff on social media. So I think it's a little bit of both. I think it just got to a point eventually where it kind of just boiled over. Attempts to reach AD Travis Bell were unsuccessful and attempts to set up interviews with players have also been unsuccessful so far. But here's what one player, Junior Jaden Wright, said in the Idaho State Journal, quote, sometimes when our plays will be working and we'll be scoring off them and sometimes Ty will go away from them and call a different play and try to switch it up. We just want consistency calling plays and in-game situations. I know it's hard, but we need a coach that's good in that type, type of situation. Games really do come down to that, end quote. This is an ongoing story, and we'll continue to follow this as it continues to develop.